Hey guys, welcome to Big Al's Quick Tips. Here's a one for you today. I hope you never have to deal with it, but if you do, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to do it. This rear camera is not working, it's, it's defective. So I thought, yeah, this will be a quick, easy way to swap that out with a new one. Not if your cable is stuck and you can't get to the connector to disconnect it. That's why it is cut. So I'm gonna show you how to put a new end on this connector here and then also had to test all the wires to make sure you've got the right color wire and that the wires have continuity so let's step into the shop and i'll show you how to do that okay before you make up these connections uh, it's always a good idea just to check your uh, colors make sure they're all the same at the front of the dash so uh rearviewsafety.com sent me this and it's their schematic for their camera that shows all the colors so you can just confirm that all these pinholes are correct because on mine, the green and the white were reversed. But that's really not a big deal, I don't think, because the green is not used, okay? And then the white is uh, audio, and I don't, use, uh, I don't use audio on mine. But anyway, I'm gonna switch them anyway to get it correct for the next guy in case he wants to install a camera and use the audio, okay? So you'll just need like a, a little ohm meter this uh, doesn't have to be like this. It could be, you can get them for like less than $10. And uh, all you wanna do is check for continuity. And that'll let you know what color wire. Uh, out, out here on the rear, you can have somebody checking it for you. And then up underneath the dash, you'll have this connection here. So I'm on the video line right now. So when I find that video line, it's gonna beep. So I know that's the position I can confirm that. So it's just a good way to make sure your wires are not crossed up. And also that you have continuity from the rear of your RV all the way up to your monitor. So that will also let you know that you've got that wire intact all the way up, okay? So here's our five pin pigtail connector. And you just have to strip this uh, rubber sheathing off the outside. Then you just unravel this uh, foil covering and then on the video wire, there's another layer of uh, uh, protection there to isolate it from any kind of interference. But I've got all these stripped off, but I wanna show you real quick how I do that. Uh, we'll do with this black one right here. I just lay it on my finger and I use a really, really sharp razor knife, okay? Really sharp. And I lay it, and then I don't push the razor knife, I pull the wire so I don't cut my finger. I just pull the wire back and then that exposes that wire, okay? Don't slide your razor knife far, you'll cut your finger. Just hold it flat and pull the wire underneath it. So we'll get all these exposed and twisted down and then I'll show you how to tin it and make it ready to accept one of these uh, couplings right here. This will seal it on both ends and then there's solder in the middle that will bond those. So they'll just uh, go in here. You want to go slightly past that solder joint on both sides, okay? So the two wires actually cross each other and go out each end. Let me show you on a, on a bigger one here. You want the wire to go in and just go past that solder joint on this side and then go in and just go past the solder joint on that side. And then when you heat this up, it's gonna turn shiny for just a second and when it does, that's when you wanna stop. And that'll melt all this, all this together and give you a nice strong uh, joint there. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is uh, tape your wires down so they don't move. And I'm using this uh, rosin core solder right here. It's made for soldering wires together. So you need to get some of that. And I have an El Cheapo soldered iron, it's $5. Got it at Harbor Freight, it works great for this, okay? So I hope you can see this, but the first thing I'm gonna do is just heat this wire up for about 10 or 15 seconds. Then I'm just gonna touch that solder to it. And then as it starts to melt, I'm just gonna chase it down. See how I'm doing that? Just chase it down the bare wire and that tip, we're gonna cut that tip off. So you can leave that solder right there on the tip, the little bulb, but what you wanna do is blend it all in down here. Okay, make sure you isolate your other wires that you've already done. Just hit it for about eight seconds so you see that solder start to melt. Boom, that's done, five seconds. Harbor Freight heat gun, 
set at 730, about four or five seconds. All right, we got one more to go. Okay, we got a rear camera hooked back up. All is working well. Everything looks good. I hope this helps. Until next time, folks, safe travel.